All right, hello there, everybody. Um, so today I'm just doing a little video here. So I want to do a little video on this uh, battery holder here I'm working on designing. So as you can see here, I have a quadcopter that I just got recently, and the battery kept sliding out of the battery strap and actually caused me to crash once. And then the battery strap actually broke. So I have new battery straps ordered, but in the meantime, I still wanted to fly. So I was working on designing a something to keep the batteries from sliding around when on the quad. And I looked around online, I'd seen a few things on Thingiverse and stuff. But then I decided, eh, let's try to design something here. So the basic concept of this is you have the mounts like you would here on the quad. And then the battery strap will come up through them, go through here, and the battery will sit in between there. Just like that. And then that way so it can't slide forward and backwards or left and right. So here was the first design I made. It works out great, except for the fact that the battery cables here needed some extra room. So I came up here and I cut this one out. So I'm going to see here if this one will work better. And until my... Uh, new battery straps come. I'm just going to be using zip ties for now. Uh, the downside to that is I can't take it off the quad to charge it, but it's okay. I only have one battery right now anyway, so I can just leave it on the quad and charge it then. So let me get this mounted up here. <laughs> Alrighty, so there it's mounted on. Um, I have a 4S LiPo battery on here. I specifically designed this uh, uh, battery protector here for this battery. So depending on which battery you're using, it may not work. Um, but I'll still post a link to it on for Thingiverse. Um, I will be I will be testing it then with uh, the battery straps once they arrive, and if it needs any further changes, I'll be changing it. Yeah, so this is a very simple design to make. Um, show you here with this one. So I designed it like this on the build plate, and just made a rectangle a little bit bigger than the battery. Measured out the spacing for each of these holes, and then just created some walls here on each end and the sides. So it wouldn't slide out, and I just printed it out like that. So uh, I will put the time lapse to these two prints at the end of this video for those who would want to watch it. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I will be doing some videos on this quadcopter coming up here. I've been just messing around with it for a while. But yeah, if you'd like to see what's going on behind the scenes every so often, go over and uh, follow me on Twitter. I post a lot, I've been posting a lot of stuff there on Twitter lately, so that's a great place to keep up with what I'm doing. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so thanks for watching, see y'all next time.